In this tutorial, I will be showing you how you can create your website with GreenShift. As you can see, I have GreenShift installed. You can see it here by the GreenShift stuff and also the GreenShift build blocks. This one is free. There's also a paid option, uh, but I will be focusing on the free version for now. When you have GreenShift installed, let's start by editing the front page. Because GreenShift is using full site editor from WordPress, you can change the templates and themes within the appearance and then the editor section. Here you will have a overview of the templates and template parts. Within templates, you will see the templates used for the single page, for instance, your blog posts, a page, for instance, your contact page or your about page. So let's get started on changing the front page. This is the front page, as you can see when I open a new tab. It looks the same. This is a little bit different from what I'm used to. I'm used to adding pages in the pages section. But in this case, you will change the templates for the front page. So here's an explanation on how to use Gutenberg. I'll just skip it. And I'll just start by removing everything that's in here right now. Remove blocks. So we here we have the header and the footer already in there. As you can see, here are the parts of that. Those are template parts. You can recognize them by the purple-ish look. And when you press edit, you can add, edit the template part header. Let's start by adding a section. You can do it like in normal Gutenberg and you can add a heading. Hello, this is a heading. But it's also possible to use patterns. And here you see a lot of patterns already available from GreenShift. Uh, let's remove this one, then press plus. In patterns, you will have, for example, hero headers. And here you see also the example that was already in place. You simply click it and it will be added to the page as well. Let's remove that group. So here you have it. This all works this is very similar to the Gutenberg editor that you're used to. Um, hello, this is a header. Um, if you want to add another parts, uh, here we have a nice section. Uh, let's see what we want to add, right? We want to add a project section. Let's do that. And then you can also drag and drop it to add it and if you like to you can also add another section by just pressing it. I really like to see this one. And there we go. Well it has now added it uh, at where the cursor is. That's not something we would like to. So you just undo the changes. It seems it doesn't work. That's a little bit odd. So let's do it from here and then add element or wireframe. And there we go. We have another section in there. And you can change this uh, just like you're used to in Gutenberg. If you want to open the side panel, press settings, and you can see all the changes you can make. Uh, but that's for another tutorial to dive deep into how to make those specific changes if you would like to. This is a button. So here we have all kinds of pre-created patterns that are available from GreenShift. Um, and I think they look very nice. For the GreenShift query, those are for uh, showing posts and that kind of things. Wireframes has pre-built 
sections for the website and then elements are even smaller sections that can be used within the, within the website so there you have it if you press save you will be able to save this for the front page and when we refresh the front page you will see that it has changed to the things we have added you also have the green shift helpers where you can find other templates for most of them you need another add-on you can purchase them separately uh, like the marketing add-on or animation add-on I really do like the animation add-on we can show a preview of how that will look if you scroll down this is an animation that can be made within green shift and I really love this option it's something like no other thing I've ever seen before but there you go now we have added edited the front page now let's change the header you can do this in two ways you can either go back viewing all the templates then go to templates parts and header or you can reach them out as well as going to the front page and press the edit button and there we go we are again in the header section let's see if we can remove this and add a different pattern header so here we go a purplish header and now when we press save you've created a new header lastly let's change the footer as well so here we go editing editing everything and remove everything that's in there just want to start fresh again you can add everything you want but for this tutorial I will be just using the patterns and there we have green shift footers and I like the very simple one so let's add that press save and there you go it's reflected on the home page as well so these are the basics and next up let's add another page so you won't be adding another page in the editor I recommend adding the page in the pages section so here we go we just press add new page uh, let's create an about us page here we also will be adding just the default sections that are already available from green shifts let's see right frames I like to add this one as well oh, it's getting on top of the other one it would be nice if it gets added below the section luckily in Gutenberg you can just select it and then press the arrow keys to just move it around or you can open an overview of everything in your page and then move it around like this as well well it should work I guess that's a bug within WordPress so we here we have an about page How about us I do know GreenShift is working on adding patterns and sections so in the future this library will be uh, very filled with other sections you can also look at my website taggies.review and there you will find some sections available as well that I've pre-made for example this green shift stunning header animation and here you go here you can see an example of how it could look and feel you can also purchase it 
uh, I will be creating a tutorial for this header section as well. Um, you can find some steps in the Facebook group. So if you go to facebook.com and then groups Green Chef WP and in this group there will be some places where I've responded as well. So you can find some tutorials and links to that as well. Let's continue on the website stuff. There we go. We have created the about page. And if you view the page, then here we go. It's the about page. Now it added a header as well. And that's something we'd like to change. So what we do is press edit site and then press templates. And here we have the page template. This is for all the pages. So as you can see here, you have the post title and it's very similar to the about page post title. And if you would like to remove it uh, by default, then you just press remove page and even remove the group so that only the content of the page will be shown and that's what this part does let's look at it so here we have a wordpress default blog that is called post content and within post content everything from the content will be shown in there although it's stated post content it will also show the content of the uh, pages or custom fields if you have one so if we press save and refresh this page there we go we have removed it and now in my opinion it already looks better like an about page so lastly Let's add another page. Add new page. Contact. And add even more patterns, wireframes. Maybe we can look into the parts. I like this one. For example, new sections. And we also would like people that are on this page to have a printer block. This is something that's always getting in the way. Adding it, it will be adding in the cursor. Uh, so if I press here now, you will see it will be added on the place contact us and hit publish and there you go as you can see it will be automatically added to the uh, navigation menu if you would like to change the navigation menu you know you have to go to the editor appearance and then editor then you have template parts then you have the header section and when you press the navigation option you can edit the menu <clears throat> and here you have an overview of all the pages that are available if you would like to add for example a custom link and I want to link to my website there we go and press save And now you've added another link that goes to my website. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or whatsoever, uh, feel free to leave a comment or uh, reach me. Have fun with creating some awesome stuff with GreenShift. See you on the next one.